So we're good. We're rolling. We are rolling, and it is Saturday night, by the way. It is Saturday this night. This is not Sunday that we're recording this. Saturday! 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 I'm, I'm too tired for this. Welcome back to Talking Story. My name is John Mitten. That is the boy wonder Jacob over there uh, behind the microphone. And uh, all these people, this is new. All these people blazing yeah. by, right? Quite, quite a few people, yeah, I might uh, add. Yeah, an unbelievable amount of generous people that uh, picked up that gauntlet we threw down uh, to, to have them help us build this channel and make it their channel. Uh, if you're interested at all how you can get your content on Talking Story, be part of Team Story, uh, check out the Patreon information. I'm sure the click is right down there, right? Yes, and it will a, be in the description. A, an unbelievable... Thank you, shout out to all the generosity that just blazed by uh, on, the, on the screen here. 100%. And the vote of confidence, and we're going to do everything we can to make it worth, worth, your, worth your vote of confidence. If you have not checked out the Patreon video and how all of it works, check it out, because I, th I think it's pretty fun. If you have any interest at all, ch check it out, for sure. So, um, dude, what did you get read this week? Not a thing. I, I, not not See, one page of anything. This is why. This is why. You 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 have a problem. What do you mean I have a problem? <laughs> you got a, you, I, you, I got a lot done this week. You got a lot done. I'll give you that. I just didn't read anything. You're a person that gets a lot done. Uh, I I got some things read. I got some things read this week. So. Um, if we were actually doing this on Sunday, I would have even more things read. So I would be further into a book that I'm not quite that far into, but uh, I did get some things read. I finished Bands of Mourning by Brandon Sanderson. And where I left off, remember where I left off? Left off I, my tongue just snapped right yeah, off you want to try that again? Did you see that? I watched it happen. Yeah, it's like I, I thought I might have to jump out of my seat and catch it. Where I left off, I was, oh, you know, I don't have the character development, the character moments uh, that book two gave me. Uh, but this, you know, it's, 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 I'm almost positive the Sanderland's going to give me that big climactic ending uh, between wax and suit, uh, just like Holmes and Moriarty. I did get that payoff. And not only did I get that payoff, but I got the character stuff I wanted. The Sanderlanch in this all revolved around Wax's personal questions of faith and the baggage he's carrying from past tragedy and grief and how to come to terms with that, how to come to terms with who he actually is and become comfortable in his own skin and the character building for the character of Steris. Uh, not only does he come become comfortable in his own skin, he is beautifully becomes able to accept a little bit of love after the tragedy that he's reeling from in book one. So a lot of this character stuff that I was missing was the Sanderlanch for book three. Uh, couldn't have enjoyed it more. And of course, we did get the fireworks between Wax and Wayne in his uncle's suit uh, and I, others, but I'm not, you know, no spoilers. Uh, so I, I still do think Book two spoke to me a little bit more, but I, I, I ended up way higher on this than I thought I would have ended up last week. The Sanderlanch did, in fact, save it for you? It, I thought, you know what? I, I was going in, I'm thinking, oh, we're going to have fireworks. We're going to have all action. Uh, we're going to see this this climax, Holmes Moriarty level climax on the falls uh, that we've been building up to through for the whole series, right? Mm -hmm. And we did get that. What I was not ready for was... Uh, the metaphysical questions of faith and interpersonal character development that happened during the Sander Lynch. I wasn't, didn't see it coming, wasn't ready for it. Bravo to Sando. Did it to me again. Did it to me again. I, what can I say? And then I picked up what won the contest I asked all of you. Um, a good palate cleanser read. I think we put up five choices or something. Josiah Bancroft, hexologist. This one. Uh, I was very excited for this to win because I absolutely want to get into Sinless Sins. And, um, you know, that's a little bit more of a time sink because it's a it's a full series. This is going to be a series, but only book one is out. So, And it's not crazy uh, thick. 
So it's like, I was happy this one. I want to get into some Josiah Bancroft. And wow. I think this could be in the running for my book of the month. Oh, so it sucked. No. The, they, you know, you guys know best. I'm telling you, I can't wait for the patron reads because I, every time I turn this channel over to somebody else and, and let them pick my reads, I'm beyond happy. The world building in this, oh, so inventive, so fresh, so new. It's that kind of a, ooh, gas lamp fantasy world, but it's just on the cusp of rolling into an industrial revolution, uh, but an industrial revolution driven by, you know, something completely different than our own world, of course, and it's got a magical element to it that's driving it. Um, the world is just phenomenal. The, the the magics, the magic system, it, they don't really go deep into the magic system of where it all comes from and how it all works, but it is still so unbelievably textured because there's different types of it, different practitioners, and this world ev around every corner, you find some bizarre, weird happening, some magical happening that is just completely fresh and new and a fresh take on tropes and at the same time utterly charming uh, and let's talk characters the two main protagonists are a husband and wife kind of detective team the hexologists and uh, it's just it's so amazing in fantasy to see a husband and wife that are not only completely and utterly the perfect yin to the yang, they fill in each other's blank spaces. They're an amazing couple. They're a loving couple. They're a spicy couple. Uh, there's a little bit of hubba hubba yeah, in it. It kind of has spice. It's, with got, the it's got caliente. It's got a little spice to it. To, uh, yeah, so it's like, it's really cool to see a, a married couple portrayed like this. Um, I just really absolutely loved it. And they laid so much groundwork for going forward in this series. And they do say right at the end that it will continue. I mean, the mystery that we have revolves around uh, like disputed lineage in the royal family and that's all i'm gonna say but you know for spoilers uh and uh it, it that's the kind of mystery that's going on here and there's still shoes to drop i think at the end uh that, that i'm sure they'll be getting back to it, it this was just a it, it was just a really great i mean i i don't know if it's a perfect five but it's way up there for me it's way up there what is it is it book of the month it's it's absolutely in the running you you have to say it right now. I, I just I'm gonna, did. I'm going to throw a tantrum. If it do is, do not throw moment, a tantrum. You're, I'm, I'm throwing a listen, tantrum. It's happening. Listen, baby Jacob, you're tired. I, I am very tired. You need a juice box and a nap. I've seen <laughs> that. That sounds look. awesome. Right I have now. seen that look on <laughs> your face since you were you first popped out of the oven, and I can tell you right now, you need a juice box and a nap. I would absolutely love that right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you've grown up enough to know I'm, I'm right about all things. So yeah, in the running, no doubt. And I have just picked up my indie read of the month, Dr. Philip Chase's The Prophet of Adan. This is book two in the Adan trilogy. And I, you know, I'm about 200 pages. I'll be 200 pages in by the end of the night. Um, like we say, we're going a little bit early for our weekly reader. But it'll, it'll drop the same time, I think, right? What are we talking about? The, it's a time machine. This is going to be the same time. Yeah, no, it'll yeah, drop it's the just same for time me as you always. It's early. Yeah, correct. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah, they yet another time yeah, machine. They don't need episode. to know that. Okay, so um, here we go. So this, I he's pulling some different tools out of his box. Book one was such, uh, gosh... For me, it was all about Day Raven's spiritual awakening and personal journey to understand the world that he's in, what's being called of him to do, how his destiny is being, he's asked to, to rise to it. Uh, this, I, this is all pace, 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 action, action, action. I mean, it does have a little bit of the spiritual journey, but it also, man, this thing rolls. I am like, I'm telling you, this reads so fast. 
And it is just that breakneck speed of a world at war and the politics behind it. And there's some amazing characters getting introduced and you're catching up with the characters from book one, which have kind of schismed and separated so you can have different parts of the world going. Uh, the questions of the holy war and the different ideologies going on, of course, is there. Uh, but it's just, it's far more physicality and action. It's just a whole different tool set than I felt uh, that jo Dr. Chase used in book one. And it's, I'm just floored that he has. I don't think there's a tool the dude doesn't have in his chest, man. He can just pull well, out. Im important question. Mm -hmm. Were there dragons? Not only are there dragons. I mean, and, you, and look, I don't think it's a big secret. I'm not breaking any spoilers. This is the back cover of the book. Um, not only are there dragons, you, you don't have to wait. Like I, you crack, you crack open book, you know, pay, I, you, you got dragons immediately and that's a book. They're ferocious. And you know, if you think like, oh man, he's Dr. Chase is one of my favorite book tubers. Um, such a, such a gentle erudite spiritual man that I love to watch. Let, let me tell you something, man. This guy doesn't hold back. This is action-packed. This has got buckets of blood. I mean, if you want some action coming at you, he's got it in spades. Like, it's, uh, he, he, don't think that this is just an intellectual exercise. This thing is cotton candy fun, and it rolls, and the pace is nonstop. What a review. So I, to, I, I'm just kind of shocked that he's got those tools in his chest. I don't know why. I should have expected he could do anything he wants to do well. I, am I going to say this is up for book of the month? I'm only 200 pages in. If it keeps going the way it's going, I could have another three-way race. Man, if it, I just had a thought. If this channel ever gets to a point where someone asks you to have a blurb on the back of a book... Yeah. Which would be hilarious on its own. Well, first of all... You'd be screwed. There's no way you can say just five or eight words about a book. It'd be a paragraph long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, don't think that's ever, I don't think that would ever happen. Because but if it does. Any, anyone that has watched this knows I'd probably have to compare it to some kind of food item. <laughs> some kind of food item or some it irrelevant be, product from the 80s you, that no one else knows about. It would be completely... Um, you know, it, yeah, some the, b comparisons to the eighties that no one knows what I'm talking about and food items. Yeah, John, can you write a blurb for my book? Well, I remember Laserdisc. Yeah. Can and you write a blurb for my disc? I mean, a blurb for my book. It's like, Hey, I am not worthy of this book. I'm not talking that I'm the Jan and Jace of the super friends. I'm all the way down to being the Gleek of the super friends. It would be something like that. No one has any idea what you're no talking one, about. Right everyone now. would no, just, no one understands. They, they would be like. What the? Yeah, it would. It, the author would receive that blurb and go, "I think I changed my mind." Yeah, I think I I'll think actually never is, talk this, to John this again. This is the circular file. This is the circular file. Um, that's exactly right. So that's it. I'm having an amazing reading week. I hope everyone out there is as well. I hope you guys have stacked up five star read after five star read. Uh, and I, I, you know, I thank. I gotta thank you guys. Um, without starting this channel, I would have never started my Cosmere catch up. You guys basically put that right in my hands. Uh, and the doors of indie publishing being opened up to me after starting this channel and meeting people like Dr. Chase and reading their work uh, and, and coming into contact with it is just, wow, phenomenal reading week. Thanks to you again. And speaking of thanks to you, what am I going to pick up after? This is my last read scheduled of the month of April. And it is book two in the Belgariad by David Eddings. Uh, and I would not have this if not for Heidi. Thank you again, Heidi. Uh, book one was just so much fun. I, I, it, it, it was a time machine in and of itself because it made me feel like a kid again. So it's I can't wait to pick this time up. Time machine within a time machine. I, because I walk around stiff feeling like an old man so much. This is my magic ticket. Please don't say you walk around stiff as an old man. I, I'm talking. There's I'm, something wrong about that. Let me that. tell you, I'm talking about my back and knees. I don't know where your mind just went. I'm just making sure. That, like, you, that's just. This, this is a soft community. You know what? After this all. is a soft community. We don't need things like that said over there. If anyone hasn't seen that video, they're going to be really confused. Yeah, they're going to be really confused. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, so Queen of Sorcery, book two in the Belgarian, will be happening this month. And I can't wait to pick this back up because uh, 
I had so much fun with book one, and um, I, I can't wait to see what happens. We kind of, it was a great ending for book one. It's not like a cliffhanger, but it still leaves you like, oh man, what's, I gotta know what's coming next. He's uses the trope so well and builds it. It's like a Jenga tower of tropes, and he builds it so well. You can pull any one out, and it still stands. It still keeps your interest. How about that? Uh, that was a good one. I How like about that, that for a yeah. blurb? See, I know Jenga. I know that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, you know, that was for the kids. Um, so, <laughs> it, it was such a crazy, crazy big week for us. Yeah, yes, it was. It was a crazy big week for us. Last week, So I'm crazy like, that once again, I have to say thank you. Yeah. Because, wow. I mean, we, we, both, we I, really... I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Both of us kind of walked around overwhelmed for a good part of the week we, yes. we rolled out the new uh graphic design the new logos all and new brand all new branding there you go that's what the kids call it all new branding on the channel uh rolled out uh i i looked at every series the the tuesday video was every series i i want to get into before the end of 2024 and i felt i had to do that and mark that because this year is going by so unbelievably fast and then after that we put our video out there and now, you know, kind of going over how our Patreon works and, and, um, and, uh, wow, guys, we were, we weren't ready. I mean, we, no, I, I and, it, and we talked about this. We, you sincerely thought, oh, well, we've got 30 spaces. We'll yeah, prepare with stickers we, we and bookmarks and this shirts. With, and, yeah. We had, here's our little goodies and we're going to have enough for 30 slots. And, you know, we're probably... And we're probably set here for you know two, yeah, three, three, four weeks, two weeks we can, at least. Yeah, we can learn as we go and uh, and kind of understand what it is we're getting into and what we're doing. Yet yeah, we we were absolutely uh, apparently we really underestimated people. I, yeah, I we were absolutely uh, unprepared, and I'm I'm still reeling. I'm act actually still reeling. Um, but I, wow, I, just this community, I can't thank you enough, uh, for anyone else that's interested, we'll have the link down there, check it out, check out the video that explains everything. But, uh, to all you people that have, um, w want to help us create and dream this channel together. I can't tell you what that means to me. I can't tell you what it means to me that we're, we're, we're now sharing this dream to build this channel and, uh, we're, it just makes us want to work even harder. Oh, absolutely. It's not, it's not like really, what we do is work. This is, I mean, you know. No, this is, this is fun to do. I mean, but it's really encouraging and inspiring to see yeah. everyone get behind it like that. It uh, was very absolutely. cool. So we, I mean, we cannot from the bottom of our of ourselves, uh, thank you once again for all those unbelievable people that rushed through there at the beginning of the video. Um, so next week, what do we got coming up? I'm actually going to do a book review. I haven't done one in a minute. It's been a while. Is it uh, Empire of the Damned? Yes. Okay. We're, we're going to have a dedicated review for Jay, Crif Gray, Jay Christoph's Empire of the Damned. Wow, just two times in of, one video. Snapped That's off crazy. its rollers again, yeah. I'm telling you, it has a mind of its own. So we're, we're going to do a dedicated video. Haven't done one in a while. Review, uh, because this is kind of a hot new book out. It's going to be spoiler free, but I really want to get into it because it was such a fun read and I really enjoyed it so much. So we're going to break it down. And then after that, we're going to put out our TBR video for May. I can't believe that. I can't believe we're in May already. We're almost halfway through. Yeah, and it, it may be a little bit early, but here's a little hint. I do want to get it out a little bit early because just in case anyone wants to grab a book and read along with us, right? There is a book. Excuse me. What is going Hope on your with you today? Frosty beverage is uh, not as carbonated. <laughs> as mine. You almost put more of that frosty <laughs> beverage back on the table. <laughs> yeah. So if there's, we're starting a book. We're starting to read out for the beginning of May. It's going to tie in to some programming that month with the channel, and I'm so excited. So I want to get the TBR out there because I want to get as many people reading along as possible to enjoy this this bit of programming that, that's coming up in the month of May. Uh, so we're going to get that out on Thursday so everyone can that wants to, to jump on board can jump on board. And then next Sunday, 
This is where I would say we'll be right back here for one of my favorite days of the week to do the, the weekly reader, but we're not. What, what, what do you mean we're not? We're not going to do the weekly reader next week. I, well, we What? Yeah. No, we're absolutely not going to do the weekly reader next week. Next week is the last Sunday of this month. So we are going to do a live stream. We're going to do a live stream probably in the afternoon, and we'll put out to community and Twitter and everything about what time exactly it is, and, and, and uh, hopefully everyone can tune in that wants to. We're going to do a live stream because Jacob is going to start to build our computer that we need for the studio because he's moving out and taking his computer with him. Oh, I did say I was going to do that, yes. didn't I? Yes. Yeah. So as he builds the computer, we're going to be on a live stream and we're going to bug the crud out of him while he tries to build a computer. Uh, and we'll do some other things. Uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do the vote for the Patreon read. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, there will there there are plans. Yeah, yeah. There, so it will be also be talking story town square. The, that, that will happen as well. Can we do that on a live stream? Or we might have to do that maybe then. Oh, that's a good point. We might have to do that like a week. It I think might we might do that like a, a week to... later because it might take a little bit of time to, to get some videos in because we just launched. That's true as well. Yeah. So we might even so, wait. We yeah. might even wait the six weeks and do it at the end of May. So we have. Some material because you know people I just say, learned about it. It depends on how many submissions we get for. That's town true. Square well, that's true. Stuff. We'll have to be flexible. But it may not be during the live stream just because that'd be kind of difficult. To yeah, do. that'd be. And you're going to be building a computer, so your yeah, difficulty I, I, level's already high. But we will, will do a live stream not only to bother Jacob while he builds a computer, not only to find out what our Patreon read is, but to absolutely celebrate hitting. I can. I, I. I have a hard time even saying this. 5,000 subscribers. It's a really weird number to That's have. A, I, again, not ready. I, I'm telling you, we walked through this week in a day's overwhelmed a good chunk of the week. It, it was a weird week. It, yes. That is for sure. So, I mean, we were not, ex we're, we weren't looking for that number. We weren't expecting that number. No. Uh, I, I, believe, I don't think any of us even thought I that believe was I possible. woke up in all thanks to Michael R. Miller, the amazing author of Songs of Chaos, who uh, uh, tweeted at me, congrats. Uh, and it's like, I, I guess I should check. Um, so uh, so the live stream this coming a week from today will be a celebration of that um, and, and other things. So absolutely, if you're available Sunday sometime in the afternoon, and we'll get all the information out there. I believe the original idea was to have people... Um, uh, it come into that live stream and you can put questions in the comments or, or have a nice little Q&A session while I build a computer in the background. Or, yeah. You know, we, we, we got a few things planned. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think, I think, and uh, for our Patreons, I think, look tomorrow, the, I think the first vote of how things will go around here will be hitting you tomorrow. There, there will be a poll of a decision to make regarding the live stream. Right. And, so and, and you can and have some recording. input on how that's going to work. Right. So you will already, you're going to have some say on how things run around if here. If you're a producer. If you're a producer. That is a producer level. So producer level, she'll have a little bit of a say, a lot of say. And thank God, because quite honestly, I, I, I'm... I, I don't I don't make good decisions. You no, know, neither of us should be making yeah, decisions. I I run around with sharp objects. Uh, I eat ice cream that's, after eight o'clock. It's true. not. You I do. It's, I, and and I'm lactose intolerant. I still do it. It's not. I'm telling you. Very aware that you do that. Yeah, everyone in, within a three block radius is aware I I do that. It's not. Again, it's not a good decision. Uh, so the last thing uh, we can throw out there is what I was watching. I finished uh, uh, the three body problem. What did you think of it? I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I had one, I had one kind of logical problem with the that you hated it. No, I had one kind of logic problem with the timeline of it all. Um, but other than that, and the, I will say, I watched. Not only did I watch the three body problem, I watched the, all the making of after all the episodes, and each and every one of the problems I had about it's like. Eh, I'm not sure. Each and every one of those things, uh, it, interestingly enough, the writers, when they were talking about the making of, was like, well, this is something we changed from the book. And I was like, <laughs> that was the thing that, that, was, the, that was one of the things I had a little bit of an issue with. So it makes me want to read this book really, <laughs> really badly because <laughs> maybe you won't have any problems with it. I, 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 the concepts, the ideas, 
I mean, wow, off the chart. But there are just some things as far as dramatic devices and the convenience of them popping up that I was going, well, I don't know about that. And then sure enough, those were kind of the, some of the things that um, for TV that they, that they changed a little bit. So, but overall, I would highly recommend this show. I mean, a quality show. I know it's doing really well. There's a reason for it. I, it is, I would say after about the second or third, you were just like, you're in binge heaven. It's hard to stop. It's, it's, it's really well done. Really well done. And next up will be Fallout. I think I'm going to start that maybe tomorrow. I think I watched the first episode of Fallout. I'm, I'm knee deep in succession right now. I'm yeah. kind of addicted. To that. I'm very late to the party. But very late. I, I just finished season one. It was and pretty, I, I it was haven't pretty watched that show, but I've seen some clips and they're pretty hilarious. It, 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 it starts off in a way that you're like, is this a comedy? I, I feel gross watching this because these people are really awful. But and then apparently a few it is episodes a in, you kind of just have to go, I, I guess I'm in this now. And yeah. it's a comedy and Not I'm going to be okay you, with it. You're enjoying it. What does that say about you? I, I really had an issue what with that. What kind of bottom oh, feeder did I raise? I what does that say I about was, me? I, it says a lot about you. Yeah, I'm afraid it does. You I'm maybe have to do some self-reflection. Yeah, yeah. No one, want, no one wants that. Um, hey, let me know what you're reading. This is all about Why did you pause for so long? Because <laughs> sometimes the, the wheels have to catch up to it. And this is all about comments, this channel. It's because I like to know what you're reading. We started it to talk about people, to talk with people that love books as much as we do. Hit me up down there. What are you reading? What do you think of what I'm reading? What are your suggestions of what I should read? Um, I hope you're having the most amazing week, low stress. I hope everything is going wonderfully for you. And if life is throwing any obstacles in your way, I hope that you find it within your personal strength and those around you that you rely on uh, to tackle it with grace and a plum. Um, that is my absolute wish for you. Hey, if you've stopped by, if this is your first time or you've stopped by a couple times, uh, hey, that little button down there right by the comments that you're leaving us, that little thumbs up, that helps us with everything. And then while you're down there, hey, that subscribe button. You know, it's so easy. It's just boop. It's, it's, it's a second. Less than a second. And if you've been here quite a few times, even lower than that, there's a link to our Patreon now. If you're interested, it, yes, yeah, it, it, there's, 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 if you're, and we're on Twitter, Although there's all I, kinds I of stuff. I highly recommend that you watch the video explaining how it all works. Yeah. Unlike somebody that, <laughs> yeah, unlike <laughs> one some, of the, one of the somebody that absolutely wants to support us so well. Yeah. He wanted to support us so badly and did that before he watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, wow, this is really cool. And it's like, man, you are the most generous person in the world. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I, I'm telling you, moment after moment of this past week was completely blew us away. Absolutely. Completely blew us away. So uh, this time next week, we'll be talking back and forth on a live stream. Uh, catch us Tuesday and Thursday. Like, subscribe, helps us do everything here. My name is John Minton. That is... Jacob Minton. Yes, he's too tired to even screw around. Yeah, I, I couldn't even think of anything else to say. That's that's how tired this guy is. That's amazing. Uh, thanks so much for putting in a little extra work so we can get this out. Oh, of course. I really appreciate you. I love you. Okay, so that's it. My name is John Minton, and this has been Talking Story.